today, we have a question brought to us by DreamWorks Animation's Trolls. Why are some people tone deaf? Let's find out on today's episode of... Colossal Question! Most of the time, when we think of someone being tone deaf, we usually mean that they're a pretty bad singer. Maybe a really bad singer. But not being able to hit the high notes doesn't actually make you tone deaf. The actual disorder is called congenital amusia, and only about 4% of the population has it. But for those who do have it, it can make life, and especially music, terrible to listen to. Some truly tone deaf people have said that listening to music sounds a bit like loudly clanging pots and pans together. For them, a lovely song might sound like a noisy racket. You see, people with congenital amusia have trouble picking out different tones and pitches, making it hard for them to tell if someone is singing a low note or a high note. I will get back up again! So that's why some people are well and truly tone deaf, but how does it work? What causes people to be tone deaf? It has to do with how we hear sounds. Picture a guitar. If someone plucks the big string, it vibrates. Those vibrations are picked up by your ear, processed by your brain, and translated into a sound. The speed of the vibration is what makes a sound low or high. If you plucked the smallest string on the guitar, it would make a higher sound because that string is vibrating much faster than the bigger one making a deeper sound. What causes tone deafness is still a bit of a mystery, but experts are finding some solid clues. For starters, it seems to be hereditary, which means it's passed down through your family. In fact, studies have shown that identical twins tend to have the same sense of pitch. Research has also shown that the problem isn't in the ears, but likely in the brain. You see, there's a bundle of nerves in the brain called the arcuate fasciculus that sends information, like sounds for example, from one part of the brain to another. Tone deaf people tend to have smaller nerve fibers in that part of their brain, and one branch of those nerves is missing entirely. So, next time someone is singing so badly that you wonder, can they even hear how bad they sound? Well, now you know, chances are they can't. So, instead of laughing when someone can't quite hit the right notes, do it poppy style and sing with whatever voice you've got. One, two, three, four. Rainbows, unicorns, everything nice. Yeah, sugar pearls, fairy dust, tumbling at night. Yeah, brush your teeth. Thank you.